Hello and welcome to the Yard Sale Artist Studios. I'm Jared Albrecht, the Yard Sale Artist, and hopefully I'll be joined by my usual co-host, Mr. Mark Hatherley from Bermuda. But uh, Mark hasn't checked in yet. I'm, you know, it's it's always interesting trying to get an internet connection between here and Bermuda. Usually we do okay, but hopefully he'll join us shortly. And if not, it'll just be me tonight. And I'll be happy to answer your questions in the chat. We're going to be drawing some James Bond tonight. I've got my pencil sketch put down. I'm going with the Timothy Dalton version tonight. And uh, I'll be doing a, a lot of ink work. So we are more than happy to talk James Bond with you tonight. Let me get some music going from our usual source. Joe November. A little background music. And I want to say hi to everybody who's checked in. I see some likes on Facebook. I see some folks watching uh, via Twitter, via YouTube. Welcome. Come on into the chat. Uh, answer, uh, ask questions, answer questions, say hello to folks. Let's have a little fun tonight. Going to do some Timothy Dalton, James Bond. Going to bust out some India ink. My faithful brush. My microns for when I'm in a in a in a small part. Oh oh, Bermuda Mark Hatherley has joined the squad, ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone. Welcome, Mark. Welcome. Yeah, yeah thanks. Live and direct from Bermuda, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like he's inking some sort of fantastically awesome comic book page to me. <laughs> yep, in the midst of it. Ha <laughs> ha. The last week, my friend. He's not going to tell me. He's getting set up. Say that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just asked how you've been doing this last week. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I missed that part. Um, I'm just been doing good. How, how about yourself? Good, man. Good. Yeah. This Thank isn't you. just idle chatter for folks watching, by the way. Mark and I really. This is our one time of the week we get to talk to each other. Yeah. Is live with y'all. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So uh, I'm working on a Timothy Dalton James Bond piece, and it looks to me like Mark is going to be doing some inking on our comic book, yep, Shipwrecker. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be because I got to get um, have to get these pages done. Eh, no, no big hurry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. But uh, it looks good. It'll be fun. Fun yeah, to make comic together. That's to say, I'm going to stop with it anyway. Who knows <laughs> really the night shall lead? You never know. Yeah, exactly. You never know. Ronald Wentz in the chat. Hello, Ron. Hello, Ron. Big brother. It's my big brother, Ron, everybody. Happy to stop by. <laughs> I know Ron's excited to see me busting the brush tonight. So far, so good, huh? The only ner the only nerves I have about using the yeah right. <laughs> the only nerves I have about using the brush tonight is all the other ones in the James Bond series that I've done. This is actually the fourth one, I think. Yeah, fourth one in the series that I've done. I I haven't used brush on any of the others, but I don't right. think it'll matter matter that much because once I get done with them, I send them to my digital colorist Ken Solo. Yeah. And then he we we turn him into some pretty cool prints. So this is, yeah, this is actually like step one really is is the bond. Because after this then on a separate sheet of paper I'll draw some like this is Timothy Dalton. So I'll draw some vehicles from Timothy Dalton movies, some um, girls from Timothy Dalton movies, some villains, and some other sort of reference points. And then what I do is I send all, I scan all that in, and I send it to Ken, and then like he makes a uh, collage out of it, does his crazy coloring schemes, and <laughs> makes these really cool James Bond pieces. And we've done three of them. We've done Sean Connery, Roger Moore, and Pierce Brosnan. So tonight I'm going to get started on Timothy Dalton, and then of course George Lazenby will be next, and I'm just waiting on. Daniel Craig to finish his last movie before I do his. I think this Bond 25 is going to be his last one. 
Yeah, I would think so. Isn't that out? That's supposed to be out. I can't remember the release date. It's supposed to be like it should be this soon. month, but they it bumped might. it back. They bumped oh, it all the way back to November because of coronavirus. Yeah, that's crazy. I think we I don't thought... let it get us down here on the Art Sale Artist Studios channel, man. No, you just got to keep it full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. We get out <laughs> here, we draw for y'all. Yep, keep on going. We chat with y'all. We make jokes for y'all. <laughs> we do our best. Hola, Chola from the Wolfpack is You're in the back. chat. I knew Ron would be excited that I was using the brush tonight. Hmm. I'm going to be using a pan myself which to start with. And I'll switch over to the brush afterwards. Yeah, I might do some tiny detail work the pin i'm gonna try and do as much with the brush as i can tonight because like yeah. i was saying earlier on on like last time we did this i'm nervous about using the brush on animated characters and i did those batmans right and the batman characters because i just don't quite have the control i want yet yeah but on a piece like this i got a little room to play with so i can learn a little more I mean, it definitely does take a certain amount of practice as well as warming up, you know. Once mm -hmm. you get warmed up, then, you know, not so bad. So they can play around, like, up here, inking his hair. Lots of room to play with that, so it's not right. as stressful, and I can kind of get a feel for how the ink's going down off this brush. I'm going to take the easy way out of a pan right now. <laughs> no, that's no worries. So how is everybody doing out there in chat land? I know we've got uh, Ron in the chat. We've got Chola in the chat. So how's things going in, uh, in Germany there, uh, Chola? And Ron, how have you been? Hope everybody's great. We appreciate you spending part of your Tuesday evening with us. Yeah, always. And we're all ears for your James Bond favorites tonight since I'm working on a Bond piece and, huh? and uh, my boy Bermuda Marco is over there inking our comic book Shipwrecker, which is very James Bond inspired. Yeah. A.K.A. everything but the name, because we didn't want them to sue us. <laughs> exactly. Be cool, be cool, huh? <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah, we're just making the most of the time. Come on. Still on our lockdown. Can't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So, same here. So. I did sneak away day before yesterday. Uh, All right. My next door neighbor, he leases uh, some hunting and fishing land. So it's right. like a private lake back there. Oh, nice. And so we, uh, we did the right thing. We drove separately. Right. <laughs> And uh, I, I took my boys out, and he brought out his wife and his daughter, and we, we just went fishing. Hey, man. No home in that, is it? Not at all. Nice change of pace for everybody. Fresh air, and yep. it's good fishing. Caught a lot of brim out of the old lake there. Brim. Never heard of that. Yeah, just a, a, a lake or pond fish here. and Okay. In the states, or I know of it, at least in the south. I don't know if they have it up north or not. Right. But it's good little eating fish. I was gonna say, is it something people eat? Or yeah, okay. Yeah, it's good eating fish. I mean, That's we, always a nice thing. we just did a we just did a throwbacks. But uh, oh, right, just toss them. Yeah, we just tossed them back. But that's pretty fun. The sport of it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no harm in that. No harm in that at all. 
it's amazing how much there's little things mean now even even more so mm -hmm. i mean obviously you enjoyed it before as well but now it's like oh, man yeah it was a nice little break yeah yeah just to get outside get some fresh air makes a big difference So what you've been doing to entertain yourself? <clears throat> Myself? Mm -hmm. I've been actually doing a good fair amount of drawing, to be honest. You know, the boys and I have been spending a bit of time just doing what we can within reason. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. But yeah, mostly I've been doing catching up on some of this stuff. Some um, commissions. I'm gonna finish off um pink some of uh dr kaz's commissions excellent but um i like to sort of warm myself up first with this before i go to his stuff got duchess in the chat little faithful oh yeah i heard about this chola just mentioned in the chat that uh she found a James Bond channel on the Pluto TV app. Oh, nice. Um, I've heard about that. I've heard they've been showing some Bond movies on the Pluto TV thing. Hulu TV, that is? Pl Pluto. Pluto, okay. Pluto I TV. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. To be quite honest. I'm going to... Need a little fair amount of detail, so I'm gonna do a little cheater with the microns real quick in this tight space. Not quite comfortable enough with my brush skills for this eyeball. I got away with it on the last eyeball, but I yeah chicken and out on this one. <laughs> I can't blame you. Let me get that back up where people can see. Can't blame you, Jerry. <laughs> I don't want to push your lock, huh? I don't. Put all your hands. In fact, I'm going to tighten up this line up here just a hair. Because I didn't get as fine of a point on that as I wanted. There we go. There we go. Ah, we got a celebrity in the chat. We got Auburn Elvis uh, watching over on Twitter. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Auburn Elvis over on Twitter asked, before I let myself get sucked into this, what college football team does Mark root for? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, and, you know, Mark's out of Bermuda, so he, he may have... Uh, None. You got, yeah, you got me on that one. I mean, hey, whatever <laughs> team he roots for, let's put it that way. There you go. So you heard it here first, Auburn Elvis. He roots for Auburn just like you and me. Yep. Uh, you Works for me. He's, he's very casual about it. It's fine. <laughs> it's a good way to be. Yeah. Yeah, I see you guys are fairly deep into that. No harm in that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Oh, well, and go fun. This way, yeah. Him, Tom. I see folks get uh, okay. a fair amount of superstitions as well when it comes to that stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. But they take it seriously, and I, I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever works, works. There you go. You heard it here first, Auburn Elvis. He's in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Normally, I would be picking somebody hat. I guess later I can pick something just to see how things go. <laughs> My creativity is kind of low this evening, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna start on something that's straightforward. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we'll get it going. 
Exactly. Exactly. How's your family, Jared? Everyone's okay? Yeah, everybody's going good, man. I appreciate good. it. No problem. How about you, man? Yep. You and your 16 kids doing all right? Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> we managing to entertain ourselves. <laughs> That's the main thing, I guess. He doesn't have 16 kids, bro. Hey. Luckily, he's got the lovely Duchess to help him out. Yep. That's always a plus. Mm hmm. Believe you me. Oh, let me look up and check the chat. GLHG's joined us. What up? Hello. Uh, Rod Lines in the chat. Hello, everyone. Hey, Rod. Man, at least you uh, went to... Uh, Rod says that he visited Auburn as a potential school, but it was too far. Oh, nice. And that's fine, man. At least you visited. Yeah, exactly. More than I can say it done myself. Yeah, that's correct, Rod Line. I am doing a Timothy Dalton Bond. Duchess says she's going crazy. What's going on over there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is this news to you? <laughs> yeah. I just heard from somebody outside. Um, somebody was marching uh, um, up and down outside. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I guess it's just tired of being inside. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I could see? Stay low. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't get involved. <laughs> nope. You got that right. That's absolutely correct, Jared. Gonna warm my own business. Mm -hmm. That's the way to be. Yep. All right. Me and the brush are getting along pretty well tonight. Yeah, that looks pretty smooth so far. It's good to see the old familiars in the chat tonight. Glad y'all made it out. A little faithful, yeah. So anything y'all want to chat about, you let us know. Uh, Mark's over there working on our comic together. He's working on a page from Shipwrecker. I am doing a Timothy Dalton James Bond. Uh, I foolishly decided to go with the ink and brush tonight. <laughs> hey. Got to practice the skills, man. That's it. And it's amazing the difference that a brush actually does make. Mm -hmm. You know, as opposed to having a pan. Whether you want to believe it or not. <laughs> the brush can really add an interesting flavor. Yeah, exactly. To the line weights and whatnot. Yep. I probably never would have even tried one had it not been for uh, John Beatty. Yeah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. He is, just uh, a step out of that comfort zone, huh? Mm-hmm. And some folks, like himself, make it look so easy. Yeah. You know? I know that uh, our friend in the chat, Mr. Ronald Went, is getting pretty good with that brush as well. Nice. Let's see. Let me check the chat. I haven't done that in a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to try. What to types? Is, uh, let's see. We got one from uh, Auburn Elvis. What types of scenes and comics do you get the most excited about working on? Ooh, that's a good question for you, Mark, because you're the one who does more sequential comic book art. Sequential? Um. I get excited on whichever ones I get to do, <laughs> you know, but, um, That's obviously, we'll, yeah, obviously will be nice. Well, when I do sample scripts, I, I like to do Superman. Obviously, I don't know why I just like Superman and obviously, <laughs> or Batman, you know, the, the common, uh, stuff, but yeah, mostly anything. It's not, it's not, I'm not too particular because I like, I like to draw. 
all sorts of things because it helps to make you better so as far as backgrounds and playing clothes and that's a good point yeah even stuff like this it's like because a lot of people was just want to draw the heroes and the fancy costumes but i just i like to just draw everything because you know it all helps to add and help to sell the comic Oh, well, since we have our, you know, I'm the writer and, and Mark is the penciler and anchor on yeah. this, uh, on this comic, <laughs> uh, I, I guess to kind of put a similar spin on that same question, there are some pages where I've written, you know, the next, you know, X amount of pages is all out action. Have fun with it, Mark, do what you want. Yeah. <laughs> there's some pages that are fairly specific. Do you look really look forward to the do what you want pages or you know is it just you know all well, kind of the same actually, to you? that's a that's a good question and to me it's actually a mixture of both because it's i think it's good to get some direction because then it puts you on a path and obviously you know you're, you're not the type of person that's very strict or particular but obviously you do have a certain uh, level which you would like to see reached and a certain amount of ideas so it, it's nice to have some direction but like we always say you don't also in return want to stifle the artist right for that creativity so it's just it's just striking a good balance in, in both i believe well good i i hope is my hope that since i've drawn some stuff and for people and i've also written some stuff that's all off, awesome off, often that's what i'm trying to say often yeah. my hope is that i'm giving you enough direction so you're not frustrated but not too much direction so that you're still having fun yeah. well i think so far it's been it's been a a, a great balance because it's, it's it's not too strict and obviously we've been seeing eye to eye so far so oh good good it's a good thing you can rest assured that if I have anything in there that's like, quote unquote, strict, like, why is this here? There's well, a reason for it. Like, I'm going to be well, referencing and it later. It. And see, and anything to uh, uh, miss our friendship, you still have to keep a certain level of professionalism as well. And that I understand. You know, because we still want the finished product to be something that hopefully folks enjoy. You know, we don't get, we don't want to get lost along the way. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So yeah, and you know, and I think that's the whole part of the the writer, because uh, when you write it, in a sense, you you have a a, a a vision as well of how you 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 picture things. Mm -hmm. I see it all in my head. Right. Exactly. And then once I read it, and certain input from yourself. I also see part of it as well. So in most cases, I think a lot of times it's, it's like a sixth sense where I sort of come up close to some of the ideas that you have in your head. That's how it seems sometimes, you know, <laughs> about right. the truth. But yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's good. So far, so good. I'm sure we can work out anything that we need to work out. Yeah. I think that way you produce as a collaboration better work, you know, when you, when you have, yeah, you don't want someone to be like, oh, and everything then. Because it's not easy, as you understand. It is pretty tough and you want you to do pages and whatnot. It, it, it is a, it's enjoyable, but it's a fair amount of work involved. Don't get me wrong. You know, to sit here and pencil pages because it has to be something that where everyone can understand what's going on as well. <laughs> right. Because I know what it's supposed to be. <laughs> everyone else has to, has to be able to see what it's supposed to be as well. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some of the things you do with the story as it progresses. Yeah, I, yes, I... I I mean, I'm curious as well, and, and obviously, it's like I, I, I do enjoy the penciling part of it, of it, obviously more than the ink inside. 
but I it must say it is nice to see the pages once they have been inked. And with our situation now, I understand you're you're extremely busy yourself, so mm. <laughs> we do what we can, you know. Yep, yep, yeah. A bit off a little more than I should have. <laughs> that, that's the story of an artist, huh? Yeah, I'm looking over here to my right. There's some pages I need to ink for Mr. Van Plexico. Yeah. My commissions lists. <laughs> yeah. Well, That's hey. my priority, though. Rest assured, if you're on my commissions list, you are yeah, my exactly. priority. They haven't been forgotten. I want to welcome Courtney to the chat. It's always nice to see you. Hello, Courtney. And uh, Courtney asked you, is that a Clark Kent that I'm doing? <laughs> it kind of looks like it right now. But no, this will end up being a Timothy Dalton, uh, James Bond piece. She knows a little about James Bond. She got a, uh, a Roger Moore movie in the mail the other day. Nice. She won it on our That's right. See it, didn't you? on our live stream uh, over at the Longbox Crusade. Yep, nothing wrong with that. What's the Duchess up to tonight? I usually hear her in the background. She's being quiet or uh, she's Nick, in another not room. In yeah, she's actually out on um, the outside. <laughs> house, no. I think when she heard that guy marching out, outside, she just got up and went. I don't know if she went to investigate or not, buddy. <laughs> and we <laughs> haven't heard from her since. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Hopefully this live stream won't be entered into evidence in some court proceeding. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? For real. But as always, I say too, when I was thinking the other pages, it's it's amazing how much things you actually change as you go, you know? Yes. I don't want to change too much because initially that's where my mindset was when I was doing it, obviously, you know? Uh, I know the old second guessing yourself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But it is, it's tricky, so you have to be very careful. But I noticed as well as like as as the pages go on, they they got they got a lot clearer and the direction was more clear, more concise. You know. Which is a good thing. Oh, uh, I missed a question in the chat. Uh, Rodline knows that I'm a a leadership guy by trade. I teach leadership, have been for about 20 years. Nice. He says, hey, Artel, my wife has a leadership question. She's trying to get her students to attend all these e-learning classes. Mm. Any advice for motivating that? Good question. Well, I will address that. The key to getting, uh, well, I'd be interested to know what the age group is. It sounds like it's college age. Uh, maybe I missed a detail, but you feel free to fill that in that blank for me there, Rod Line. But regardless, especially when it comes to older students, you always, always, always want to answer the question, what's in it for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Older students need to know what the benefit is. Hey, I would have never thought of that, but it makes sense. Yes, indeed, sir. They always need to be reminded what the benefit is yep. of showing up, being there, participating, asking questions. Call it the WIFM. W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? Hmm communicating that and uh, middle school okay so you're not quite with an adult audience but your middle school is an interesting age yeah, it is. Uh, the the what's in it for me still applies for the middle school age I would say but I was about to say also not just a what's in it for me but um, Showing a little empathy and understanding. Let's put it this way. There's a big difference between 
sending a group of middle school kids a message that says, Hey, not enough of you are attending these classes. You know, these are for you to help you get better. You need to start showing up. Yeah. That's one way to do it. Maybe not optimal. Right. Maybe something more like, Hey folks, I know we're under an unprecedented situation. I know this is very challenging and you're on your own and you don't have me to shepherd you for everything. Now, this is the point where I need you boys and girls to step up, become young men, and young women. This is a moment for you to be better. And I want to help you with that. Something like that shows that you care about them and their development. And you're not just scolding them, but yeah. you're also kind of telling them what's in it for them. Um, those kind of phrasings go a long way. We're, we're often, you guys are gonna get me talking all night on this, but we are often, uh, yeah, we, we, we're often not aware of our phrasing. Phrasing exactly. is such an important thing. It is very important. And we're all, we're all deficient. I mean, I'm a quote unquote expert in this and I find myself falling short every once in a while. I have to go back and say, you know, my phrasing on that wasn't exactly right. It's not exactly what I meant. Words have meanings. Down. Yep. Um, and you, you need to remember all words have meanings to pick the right ones. Yes. Let's see what else I'm missing in the chat. And I'll be happy to uh, come back to that. Uh, Duchess is cooking dinner. Oh, That's nice. good news for you, dude. Yep, that is good news. Uh, Auburn Elvis says, I see how Jared is avoiding smudging his ink. How is Mark keeping from smudging his? Well, I... I'm just using this pan right now is a 0 0.05 0 0.05 oh the very fine man. yes so just i normally would do that for the eyes and moths and the small detail stuff and when i do actually come to the spot in the blacks the the bigger parts of the ink i actually would just jump around the page like say as i might start down here somewhere mm-hmm then I'll move across, obviously, away from that. And then I would go up top her and give this down here a chance to dry. Oh, so you're kind of moving from spot to spot yeah, by in time. Spot spot. And then it, um, and, and with uh, this amount of inking as well, I, I feel that sometimes when I stay in one area, I get a bit bored. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I check. Yeah, to, I feel that. Yeah, so I just try to move around a bit as well. So, so it has not, the work does not suffer for it. I feel that. Very cool. Well, yeah, I'm actually um, been enjoying the inking. Good question, yeah. Auburn Elvis. Thanks for participating. Yeah, that was a good question. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it looks like you're getting ga garlic Alfredo chicken uh, no. with, with sel Selenrani pasta. Did I pronounce that right? Selenrani? Hey. No, you got me, but hey. <laughs> no, I thought it was like a Bermuda thing. <laughs> you're like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Might be a typo, but I'm gonna eat it anyway, Jaren. Let's put it that way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I've answered your question in the chat. If I missed your question in the chat, please ask it again. Yeah. I'm I'm looking down a lot. This is why I like it when one of my friends from the Long Box Crusades show up and they can handle the yeah, chat. But... Exactly. Doctor always <laughs> normally comes in handy as well. And I, I put poor Jared on his spot all the time because I just sit there and draw away. And <laughs> he does most right. of his talking. Oh, it's my responsibility. So there if I know. missed your question, please re-ask it. I don't want to yeah, miss exactly. anybody's uh, question. Everybody's important here tonight. Yep. We will just say no hard feelings. Let's put it that way. Exactly. I'm just putting no down. Feelings. There's going to be a lot of heavy black in this tuxedo tonight. Yeah. Now, that just says it's like uh, Mac pasta, but curly. Oh, okay. As soon as dinner's done, she says she'll come in and see us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for you, my friend. That dinner's going to be gone. Yeah. You're not going to get anything. Well, that's my thing. You see me on more and now I'm saying, well, when dinner's done, I want to be done. <laughs> well, I'll try to hold us to our... Our, yeah. our, we always say 90 minutes. Uh, I think I might be able to make that tonight. Right now we're at 34 minutes and I've I've done a lot of the tougher parts. So yeah. Try to make sure you get some dinner, man. Yeah, there you go. See, I ate right before I came on. <laughs> yeah. 
So I actually had fallen into a nap. I can't oh, lie. That's a good day right there, my yeah, friend. I had fallen right before and I look and it was it was literally uh, six fifty eight. I said, Oh oh my. Let me turn all my stuff. I had everything close by anyway, because I, I was ready for it. But I just wasn't ready for the nap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasant little surprise. Yeah, exactly. Caught me off guard. Let's see. I just see I got some texts from some of the long box guys. I want to check them and make sure it's not somebody who wants to get in. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, nope. They're just uh, being, on. being idiots. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all in good fun. Duchess says in the chat, don't worry, I always save dinner, but that sounds like something she says publicly. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. <laughs> uh, in real life. I'll just be professional. Every Put man for himself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you know, when you're home so much, it's amazing how much you want to eat. You know, it's funny. I hear a lot of people talking about that. I don't have that problem. Nice. I eat less when I stay home. I, I eat thing. more when I'm out and about. Because so I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, there's Kentucky Fried Chicken. In it. Well, see, and, and where you guys are, I would see where that is extremely difficult. Because when we travel overseas, it's like, it's like so much fast food spots. Everywhere. Everywhere you go. Yeah. And it's always something I haven't tried yet. Mm -hmm, that's right. <laughs> Which is unbelievable, you know. I mean, yeah, we'll it. <laughs> it's always something I haven't tried. I said, oh, my, look. So you don't have a lot of fast food joints in Bermuda? No, no. We, we have, like, KFC, and then we have a, a place we call Mr. Chicken. Um, And then that's pretty much it. We have a lot of the little, well, I wouldn't say mom and pop restaurant, but that is it's sort of like that, you know, the little shops for. Gotcha. You know, where you get your. Uh, local type of food you know the fish sandwiches and fries and peas and rice and stuff like that but it's, we don't have too much of the food chain um stuff here i see i see yeah so when you do make it to, to the states what are some of your favorites okay um i like popeyes <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that people how i say that these days um i don't eat too much kfc even though because we have it here Right. McDonald's, uh, I used to like McDonald's, but um, no offense, but it seems they have gone in a different direction now. I like I like Chick fil A, and I think it's was it Jack in the Box Burger? Mm -hmm. I think that was it, that it was pretty good. But and then it's like the little like chilies and there's different type of restaurants. I like this as well. Me too, yeah. I mean, it's 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 obviously nice in moderation, like anything else. Therein lies the problem, my friend. Yep, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's why sometimes I'm glad we don't have the, because I think here I think it's actually against the law to have one of this the supply food chain type of thing, the, the franchise restaurant. Oh really? Like, yeah, the McDonald's and things. I think is yeah, the no laws and you're not alone. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. But you know, obviously, you're used to it. That's how it's always been. Uh, I mean, let's see. I'm gonna look up at the chat real quick. Oh, got another leadership question. Advice <laughs> for parents on instilling a good work ethic in their children. Hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, my first thing would to that would be, I try to lead by example. Number one. Excellent. Yeah. Obviously, Jerry, you can take the rest, but you know that that was that just, <laughs> that just popped in my mind. You know. Uh, yeah, leading by yeah. example is great. Yeah. Um, I would say the most success that I've had now, and I'm I'm out of the uh, leadership realm, and now we're just kind of talking parenting. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's still something I I'm challenged with because I have a 13 year old son, and he, he, it can be challenging to get him to yeah want to um. And they're always changing, huh? Yes. Um, you know, step up his his work ethic game. I think one of the keys is to um, they need goals. They need goals to work towards. You know, yeah. 
it's 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 and easy you... and convenient. We live in an era of convenience. Yes. You know, it's easy to just kind of give them what they want. Yes. Uh, getting them to to uh, work for what they want is a good step to getting a good work ethic. Very important. My son was asking me a few months ago, he AirPods. I want AirPods, Dad. All the cool kids have AirPods. Yes. And so I just looked at him. So, okay, what's your plan to get AirPods? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I need to know your plan. You know? Well, I don't know. They're expensive. Yeah. So what are you going to do? How are you going to make the money? <laughs> you got to get it somebody. At least show the initiative, huh? And, and I think there's there's definitely something in there, by the way. Um, just teaching your kids to come up with a plan. Exactly. Is is one of the is half the battle. Yeah. Like how are you gonna go about doing this? Yeah. There's always this, you know, all kids, even when we were kids, we were wired the same way where yeah, we, there's something we want and we know that you know oh, I kind of gotta work to get it, but that's not a plan. <laughs> no. You need an actual plan. And that you can actually see some something coming to fruition. Right. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna step yeah, step this out. Like my son, he's a he's a good student. He's an uh, all A, occasional B, uh, all A's on a roll or occasional A B on a right. roll student. And he started struggling in a class this this year. I think it was uh, his math class. And he's getting very frustrated. You know, he's getting very emotional about it because it's getting hard, and he's not used to classes being hard. Right. And so, back to planning. I see. I yeah. you know I jumped on his case for getting bad grades. Hey, this isn't like you. What's going on? And I used to do all the planning for him, but this time I was like, "Well, what's your plan?" You know. Yep. And you know he's like, "I get better grades." I said, "No, that's not a plan. That's a goal." Yeah, exactly. What's your plan? And he stares at me. I don't know, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need to know your plan. Uh, get better grades. No, that's a goal. That's not a plan. Yep. How are you going to get better grades? I'm going to study. Okay, that's another goal. That's not a plan. <laughs> study when? Study where? Study yeah. what? What? Exactly. You know, I have to lead him down that path of detailed planning. You know, like, okay, step one. Yeah. Find out, you know, from your teacher when the next test is. So you know what your target is. Yep. And then find out what the topics of the test are going to be. Make sure you're studying the right thing. Then tell me how often you're going to study. You know, every day for X amount of minutes. You know, we, and he did that and he still struggled. So I was like, okay, how do we alter the plan? Yeah. You were studying every day for 20 minutes. So what do you think we should do? Probably should bump that up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so on and so yeah. on. And that is an excellent point to make. I can even take some tips from that myself. But yes, you know, you have to have a, a real physical plan. A way to go about getting actually achieving things. Planning is important. We got Cool Cabbage in the chat who says, I see how it is. Dot, dot, dot. Because Cool Cabbage is the child in which we are currently discussing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my son. Good stuff. But he, he doesn't realize that that mean dad that forced him to do all that planning. Planning is going to pay off for him in the future. Yeah, exactly. The future and belongs to those who plan. Yeah. And one of the things we don't we tend to forget is that we are the way we are because of what we went through growing up. Mm -hmm. and if you had everything handed to you, you wouldn't have the characteristics that you do. You know, That's if you didn't have to work for anything in your life, you know. He's learning though. Yeah, exactly. Cool cabbage is learning. That's it. <laughs> hey mate, it's not easy. Believe you me. I know. Mm-hmm. It's a work in progress, as they say. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let me try to get a little bit. I still love you, Cool Cabbage. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> there, yeah. Hey, it could be a lot worse, couldn't it? GLH, she says, okay, people, fess up. Who was good and bad at school? Uh, <laughs> I think I goes for anybody in the chat plus us so uh what do you think man 
I think we all have our moments. <laughs> I wasn't the worst kid. I wasn't always the best, and I can say that much. I uh, I was a very good student. Grades were not a problem. Yeah. Uh, overall, I was pretty well behaved. You know, as you will figure out if you haven't already out there, people. Um, if you make good grades. The teachers will be a lot more lenient with you on your disciplinary yeah, issues. Yeah, that's the truth. So uh, I got away with a lot of things because I made good grades. Yeah, but that's the truth. Uh, you do your work, it's half the battle, you know? Mm-hmm. They definitely tend to work with you a bit more. So, like, I, I very rarely, like, I could count on one hand the amount of times I was ever sent to detention probably two or three times yeah exactly. all of school yeah i wasn't um i was like that as well i was not very a kid so i also was afraid of what my parents were going to do to me <laughs> yep yep yeah. gl says he just never got caught do cool. no that was chola never mind chola said he <laughs> never okay. got caught That's also a way around it. Uh, Excuse me, Derek. Can you just repeat what you just said? Because my son's listening. You can you can play back. Uh, <laughs> basically, as long as you get grades, you can goof off a little more, and teachers will let it slide. Yeah. <laughs> One hand watches the other. Mm -hmm. They're a lot more. Le basically, they're more lenient with smart kids. Yeah. Yep. All right, what we got here, Jared? Uh... Somebody in the chat said that Mark was good in English. Yeah, math was was one of my weak subjects. And art, I liked art, <laughs> obviously. Got the perfect line there. My brush quit on me right at the buzzer. Hmm. There we go. GLH, she says he was good at math, physics, chemistry, even literature and philosophy, but social studies, anything. And my brain was like, forget it. I'm out. Nice. <laughs> yeah, hey, V. It gets like that. I guess my weakest area was spelling, actually. Okay. Um, I was a very, very good student. Um, I graduated in the top 10 of my class. Right. And, uh, you know, on all those tests and stuff you take, I'd always yeah. like top 1%, top 1%, top 1%. Right. Then it hit spelling and it'd be like top 40%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dang. It was a severe drop off when you got to the spelling portion. Not my strongest suit. Yeah, it happens, believe you me. <laughs> it happens, Jerry. Which is weird because, much to my wife's chagrin, I was our class spelling bee champion when I. My wife and I went to high school together. <laughs> no, nice. And uh, she doesn't like it when I remind her that I beat her in the spelling bee. Oh. Even with my bad spelling scores. Amy. <laughs> sometimes, here's a secret, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes in the spelling bee, uh, a lucky guess is all it really takes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. I was guessing half the time on those words. <laughs> One of the secrets in life, huh? <laughs> One of the secrets in life. My wife likes to remind me because again we went to high school together. I graduated number nine in our class. She graduated number four. Okay. She likes to remind me of that. Huh. Whereupon I remind her that she didn't take any hard classes, and then the argument just goes round and round. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one alone. Yeah, probably best. <laughs> leave that right where it is. Right there. <laughs> There, right where it is, Jerry. Yeah, it's a good plan. 
No, I wonder where my ruler has disappeared. And I guess I'll come back to that part. Talking about Duchess or? Oh, <laughs> ruler. <that other laughs> yeah. No, not that one. The other one. Not that ruler. The other ruler. Yep. It's actually pretty fun inking these pages once I get good, you know? Yeah, once you get in that groove. Yeah, so once you get in that groove, yeah. Nice to see the finished product as well. Don't worry about me, GLHC. My wife does not watch my live streams. <laughs> <laughs> Half the time, she doesn't even know what I'm doing back here. She she was just asking me on my way back. Is this one of those podcasts or live stream or what are you doing today? <laughs> yep. She doesn't know. I'm always doing something back here. Speaking <laughs> of James Bond, I spent a fair amount of time editing a upcoming episode. Or, well, actually, our premiere episode of Rogue Agents for On Her Majesty's Secret Podcast Network. Nice. Um, we used to have a show called Rookie Agents because we were taking Delvin and Pat, who had never seen the Bond films, all the way through the franchise. But we finished. They did all the movies, and we recorded one for every episode. And, and uh, so now we've rebranded the show Rogue Agents, and we're just going to kind of talk about what we want to talk about. Yeah. So the first That's episode, good. we're going to rank order the theme songs. There you go. And we've got it all recorded. I'm just editing it now. That should be interesting. I think so. And that way you don't have to be so stringent on what you talk about as well. Yeah, huh? exactly. Free yourself up a bit. We're going rogue. Yeah. That makes sense. I know we got some fans of the podcast in the chat. I know GLHG's a, a longtime listener and supporter. We appreciate that. Uh, Ronald says, Ronald Wentz says, Mark should be really good at English. He spent more time with the Brits than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that, proper, that proper language, huh? Or well, that proper stuff. <laughs> Then Ronald Wentz said something about you need an art manager to help shake down your employer for better page rates. I'm going to go ahead and delete <laughs> that comment. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Yeah. Well, you know, now's a good time to actually talk about how I work that. Um, basically, when I do hire an artist, I don't do by page i just say this is what the project's gonna cost because i don't want the artist to leave 60 percent of the book yeah and i'm like you finish the book i cut you this amount of money yeah it's not a lot because i'm a small independent thing but what i'm really hoping to do mark and i've talked about this before probably on this very show i can't remember yeah is uh is do a like kickstarter or an indiegogo yeah something like that for it once we're really close to being done Exactly. Or actually done is probably the best way because you, you pretty much want to be done before you even start those yeah. things so that nothing goes wrong. Exactly. And uh, try to get us some more money. Um, yeah. Basically, what I like to do in that regard, I'll be very transparent with my business model here, but um, yeah. I want to raise enough money to, to print the book so it doesn't cost me anything to print it. And right. then anything we raise beyond that is my full intent to just make that a bonus and it would be split equally yeah, between the artist, the writer, the colorist, and the letterer. Yeah. Everybody yeah, gets a bonus enough. check. Yeah, exactly. And you know, hey, mate, it gets me exposure. You That's know? right. I like and to I, give you something to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we have to know, you know, we have to be reasonable within our own limits as well, you know. I mean, it, I, I just thank you for the opportunity. My pleasure. You know what I mean? I think we're going to make something really cool. I think so too as well. You know, I don't see, you know, so far I don't see how we, we couldn't, you know. Yeah, I keep reading the script. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the moment where Jared blew it. <laughs> hey, yeah, if you, and if you think so, you know, okay, let me thinking? know. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, if, 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 when I see things, if, if, I, if I feel a page needs to be shortened, long, lengthened, or then just, you know. Or, you know, worse yet, if you just don't understand what's going on. 
Like, yeah, I don't yeah. get this. And I'm like, I need to know that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because if I don't, then chances are exactly the population is not going to get it either. Well, yeah, I got you coming. He's uh, the artist. Uh, if you're a writer out there, listen to this. Your artist can be a good sounding board for you, people. Yeah. They can say, hey, I don't understand what's happening here. That means your average reader ain't getting it either. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, y'all need to understand. Yep. That is absolutely correct. That is correct. Basically, your artist is your very, very first proofreader. Unless you have an actual proofreader, which I do. My wife reads my scripts when I finish them to make sure they make sense to her. Yeah. That's why she gets an editor credit on the comics that I make. Exactly. It's like that just is handling some business over there. Yeah, I hear some kind of <laughs> 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 okay, well, how much can everyone else hear? Hey, reality folks. She's laying down some laws. Yeah, she's getting them sorted out. I haven't checked the chat in like forever. <laughs> Let's see. Too, huh? Ah, that's just says she's still there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, but I am looking forward to seeing some of the finished pages, even if it's not in the book, actual book as yet, you know? I understand. So it's nice to see everything once it's colored, colored up nice. Mm hmm. That will be our good friend Ace Wheelie. Hopefully. Yep. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Unless something goes awry, then we'll find someone else. But hopefully, we'll be using Ace. Yeah, exactly. That's the plan. He's our fan favorite. Yeah. Ace and I just um, finished up another album cover for Joe November, who we're currently nice. into. That's good. Hey, man, I think we all have to just work together, don't we? Mm -hmm. Help each other, you know? Yeah, he just released Beat with Beats Without Homes Volume 3, the Oops Pal Surprise Report. It's available on uh, Bandcamp. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the major platforms or not yet, but right. Yeah, well, Ace and Jared Project. See, I painted myself into a corner quite literally here, people, because <laughs> I don't want to drag my hand through this ink. No, I could go this way because this is all dry now, so that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm trying to stay away from all this, which could still potentially be wet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Ronald went asked the, the golden question. What type of gun is that? Well, Walter PPK, you got that right, buddy. Bond was uh, loyal to the Walter PPK all the way up to the Brosnan era, where he switched to a Walter P99, I think. Nice. Learn something new today. Yeah, the PPK lasted all the way up until the uh, Brosnan era. I gotta locate my ruler <laughs> somewhere. You and that ruler. 
Yeah, I know it, it disappears like my eraser sometimes. They literally, literally just drop on the floor sometimes and disappear, and I don't know how it happens. Oh, I hear that, man. I uh, actually have two rulers because one's always missing at any given moment. Yeah. Ooh, all right. I had to ride a straight edge there myself with just a brush. Hold it off. There you go. There you go. A little pressure there. <laughs> there you go. Jack. Do it again now from this direction. Buddy, pray for me. Here we go. Oh, lovely. There comes my ruler. Perfect. Woo! Hold off another one, boys. <laughs> and you found your ruler? Yep. Everybody's so winning. Good. There we go. There we go. All right. I see we picked up a few likes on Facebook. Nice. Picked up a few watchers here and there. If you're watching and you want to get in on the chat, please do. We got a great chat group here. No, yeah, don't be shy. Nice people. Bite. I like everybody in the chat group and um, also GLHG. I'm just <laughs> GL. You know I love you. If you weren't my favorite, I wouldn't pick on you. Hey, there you go. Now somebody else is hurt that they're not the favorite. I back myself into a corner. There you go. And Ron's somebody, crying. Ron's crying over by his keyboard right now. Somebody else's feelings are hurt. No. <laughs> by his keyboard. Look how old school I am. Like I still think people are literally in front of a computer for this. <laughs> Most people are watching on device. I'm certain. Yeah, phones and every other type of so device. Huh? Old. It is amazing the technology today. Yep. I was telling my son that too. I was like, man. This whole like quarantine thing. Now that you've got all this online gaming capability, yeah, man, exactly. It's a piece of cake, huh? I'm like, no kidding. Like when I was gaming back in the '80s, you had to go to somebody's house to game, man. Heck yeah, there you go. You wouldn't be able to play all these games online. Could so the parents kick you out? Okay, okay. I'm going to put this down by my fan for a minute. Since I'm down by the fan, I'm going to give, uh, give Mark the full screen. While I'm drying this, I got a little detail work I'm going to come back and do with the pens. But as usual, I keep a fan down. It blows all the air. It keeps the air circulating under my table, which keeps my legs nice and cool. Very <laughs> <laughs> good. Whatever works to be productive. <laughs> GL says, I know you don't like me, Jared. That's why Jason is my favorite. First of all, Jason's my favorite too, GLHG. And second <laughs> of all, we all know that Delvin's your favorite. Don't try to hide it. <laughs> we know you, buddy. Now, nah, man, folks like GLHG are, are big reasons why we enjoy doing the podcast game. GL's a loyal listener to every show we do. He always drops a comment. Keeps Just it good, a, huh? Wish we had a hundred of them. That's the thing. That's always the thing, huh? Yeah. You heard it here first, GLHG. I wish I had a hundred of you. <laughs> Mainly because that'd take my infinite amount of trophies and multiply it by a hundred. <laughs> Ow! All right. Okay, so there's this little spot I want to straighten out. Pretty happy with most of it, but I did not trust my brush to do this little circle here. 
and learn my brush skills, I should say. You know, I think when you're in doubt, it's best to just take the safe, the safe way. Especially when you're doing a commission for someone. Indeed. This, however, is not a commission. Oh, that's just for fun. Uh, I hope to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna buy that. Trust me. Uh, this is one of my. This is one of my rare breaks from commission these days. I don't no, take I mean, many of them. I'm saying it till I'm actually surprised. I've got a lot of commission pieces to do, but luckily I got ahead today. Right, right. So yeah. Got a little breathing space. A little breathing space today. Yeah, well that's nice. Yes, I finished the uh, the Princess Bride book page series I was working on. Right. That was 17 pieces. Nice. And then I got the next person on my list taken care of today. That was a Darth Vader piece. I'll post that cool. in a few days on social media. And I'm a... Already got the prep work done on my next one, which is a James Bond piece, actually. It's a Daniel Craig on a page from Casino Royale. Yep. Sounds good. Got to keep the ball rolling. Keep the ball rolling. some point i gotta finish inking i got like three or four pages of cold lightning number three to ink for, right for van i gotta squeeze that in yep i mean you can put it off because then it's for so long huh yeah now that i'm kind of got this bond piece it's been this one's been sitting on my head for a little while just trying to right. know when i need to finish that series um this one's been on my mind so once this one's done i'll feel a little better and, yeah. Uh, Get on to all the things. Yeah, move on to other things for a little bit. Yep. There we go. Fine tuning. Hey, I'm fine tuning. We're at an hour and seven. Nice. So it, it looks like you might get some dinner tonight. Yeah, lovely. Congratulations. I like <laughs> yeah, I might get lucky, huh? Could be your night. <laughs> Works for me, Jerry. Good. I guess I'll do a uh, uh, getting close to the end of the show commercial break in that both Mark and I are available for commission work. Yeah. If you need anything. Feel free. Feel not, free to hit us up. Not sure if it'll get mailed out, but hey, I can take my time and do a real nice one for you. <laughs> you having mail <laughs> problems there, Bermuda? Well, I mean, our post office is shut down right now. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Still open here in the states. Yeah, we we'll was shut down in the post. I think once it's two weeks is over, I'll see. Okay. The yeah, bird things are going from there. It's actually quite interesting, I must say. Sounds like. Yeah. So yeah, definitely uh, give a shout out if uh, you feel like you're needing something. You know what? Let's. I want to get prepped uh, for next episode next week. I'll probably work on inking a page like Mark's doing, but I'm thinking about having a little fun. And maybe doing some of those three-minute sketches I talked about. Yeah, I think we could probably we can do that and then get into whatever. 
Yeah, so. Because yeah, I think that I'm actually curious to see how that'll work out. <laughs> well, here, knowing what I know about us and the speed at which we work, yours are going to be amazing. Am well, I going to be know. like, meh? Well, Jared, I really I, don't know, to be honest with you. I per no, I do. I know. Uh, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all in good fun. Uh, so if you're in the chat right now, I'm going to kind of steal a page from Bermuda Mark and the Duchess. If you have something you'd like to see me do a three minute sketch of on next Tuesday's episode. I'm going to try to remember to bring my timer and yep. uh, we'll have a little fun with that. And I'll, I'll jot down any ideas you guys have and, hmm. and uh, see what comes out of the hat. No, we take it from there. Sounds like a lot of fun. And like Mark said, it might be just something that we do just for a couple minutes on the front end. Yeah, yeah. And then get into something different. Do Get into whatever we're going to work on and maybe yeah. do like one at the very end or something like that just for yeah, the heck yeah. of it. And the, that's the beauty of three minute sketch though, Mark, is there's not a lot of pressure on the artist. Yeah. Because we're like, you know, if it comes out like crap, we'll be like, hey, there's three minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and something like that, everyone else can join in as well. Yeah. You know, they can feel free. So if you got, like I said, if you got any ideas for a three-minute sketch for next week's episode, uh, toss them in the chat. I'll, uh, I'll put them in a in a baggie with uh, huh. some of my fr my local friends. May be able to get in on that too. I have friends who watch but don't comment. Right, right. You know who you are. How about that thing too? Some folk are just you know, just shy like that, aren't they? Mm-hmm. I'll see them, and if they say, hey, put the such and such in your hat, and then I will. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, let's see. Formerly Rod Line says, I'd love to see Hawk from Buck Rogers or any Robotech character. Thanks for picking stuff I've never heard of, Rod Line. Yeah, that's uh, what I was <laughs> I'm glad you feel the same way, because I was going to be like, okay, bro. this balled up piece of paper I had off screen. Never heard of that before in my life. I'm writing it down, though. I'm writing Hawk from, but I probably will know that one when I see it. Right. Uh, I'll tell you what, three minutes of anything Robotech is going to be tough because <laughs> any, anytime you're drawing machinery and trying to do it yeah, fast, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying I haven't done it before though. I have, I've done um, like one time a dude had me do like a stormtrooper, and one time a kid had me do like master chief. And I'm always worried about how those are going to, turn out because they're so technical but you know i'll get something close right or not whatever it's three minutes don't care <laughs> yeah exactly whatever works huh whatever works i just think it's nice to loosen up you know yeah it's a fun, fun little yeah. game it's just one of those things where you don't have to be so stringent on yourself it does have some fun Flesh up some line here. So I'm gonna do for the next couple of minutes. We're about 15, 20 minutes away from the end of the episode. Somebody asked for Jessica Rabbit. Huh. That should be interesting. Man, and right. you know what? Along with machinery, I know I'm just a laundry list of excuses, but cartoon characters are also tough to do fast. <laughs> yeah, Adi. Believe it or not. But uh eh, whatever, I'll take a shot if it comes out of the bag. Yeah, I'm down for the challenge. Well, that's a bummer that your uh, your post office is shut down. Yeah, making it hard for you to get commission stuff. But like you said, you know, you'll get, he'll take his time on it. Yeah, exactly. As soon as it opens back up again. Yeah, and then luckily with Kaz, is you know his his he does some fast. He said no rush. No, Kaz is the coolest. But, but yeah, when you get it, you get it. I got to put those uh, three Batman pieces I did together and get them out to him. Yeah. This came out um, really well. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was pretty pleased with them. Yeah, they came out nice. It's just the whole intent, you know what I mean? Yes, sir, I do.
Okay, I'm going to the get rid of some of these um, sketch pencil marks. And that should that always reveals to me little places that need to be firmed up, like right here. Just a little. Line's a little fuzzier than I like it to be. You know me, I like my clean, sharp lines. Yeah. I'm working on it. Oh, you can do it however you want. I'm just talking about <laughs> That's just me. No, I mean, I'm still a bit, yeah. Hello. Hello, hello. So it's officially done. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got what Marvin the Martian to add to my list. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is cool. I've never done that one. Me either, but that's something that I sounds, would love to. That sounds fun, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I always loved Mar Marvin the Martian. That's one I definitely would be looking forward to doing. Dr. Kaz is in the chat. Hello, Dr. Dr. Kaz. Meow, 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 meow. I'm probably disappointing Dr. Kaz and I because I don't know him to be a big James Bond art collector. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh, first time for everything, huh? That's right. If you decide to start, Doc, I got your starter kit right here. I got your Timothy <laughs> Dalton starter kit. So say it's in the right place, huh? That's right. Oops. In the right spot. Thanks for stopping by tonight, Doc. It's always good to see you. Yep. You know that we appreciate everything you do for us on this channel. You know, the Doc doesn't live too terribly far from me, man. Someday I'm going to have to go up and check out yeah. the That's Doc's lacking. operation. In fact, I was going to get to see the doc uh, last month, but the con that was scheduled for that area got canceled, as one would think. Yeah, like everything else, huh? Yeah. Dr. Cass has my solo seven. <laughs> Why, thank you, doc. GL says, Martin included Dr. Cass. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There we go. All come together. That's looking good, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm def definitely getting it to come. I like the way that uh, shipwrecker page is coming out. Yeah, good stuff. That's always a good thing. I had that opening scene. I've had that scene in my head for probably two years. <laughs> so if I ever wrote a James Bond comic, there, that's it. That would be my opening scene. And then I was like, screw it. I'm writing my own uh, <clears throat> Alan Porter comic. Yeah, definitely not good. James Bond. Nope. Everyone. <laughs> no, got that right. Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer, it's definitely not James Bond. Yes, it has all the hallmarks of James Bond. <laughs> but the character's name is Alan Porter. Yep. Named after my co-host on Bond Music 6 of the Best on On Her Majesty's Secret Podcast Network, Mr. Alan Porter. Cool. 
I learned something new again. There you go. I actually like the page with the helicopter in the background. Oh, the helicopter is great. That's a couple of pages back that Mark did. That one was really no. cool. Well, yeah. they're all cool, but. He chopped in a few of these. That one. Oh, man. Ah, see, that's a good example. Good example of what we were talking about earlier. You know, I told him on panel, whatever, whatever, make sure you could see a helicopter coming in through the window yeah. in the back. You know, if you take that by itself, he might be like, why? Yeah. <laughs> but when you read it all, you say, oh, the helicopter's in. Important. Exactly, it's an integral part to the story. I actually thought that was quite cool at the beginning. Thank you. Very cool, yeah. And it was, it was a lot of fun to draw. I mean, obviously, like I say, it was a good bit of work, but it was a lot of fun to draw it. That I can't lie about. I'm glad you're having fun with it. I, I like it, Jerry. Keeps me busy. Yeah, I can't wait to see this finished. I <laughs> I'm like, wait, I know, I know. <laughs> Having made yeah. a comic book before, it's the hardest part, especially when you're an independent maker. Because I mean, it, it really is. You know, if you're not doing this full time, you know, you got other things in your life like we do. It, it's like yeah. a two year process. Yeah, uh, exactly. Kind of minimum almost, and it's yeah. like you're just so excited. Oh, I want to see it, you know. Yeah. And I know, but it's 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 nice to see the process. Like every page he does, it's so cool. It is cool. And, and I, I love think, it too. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. And it's, it's, and it's when I do duty pages is when I get anxious. You know what I mean? <laughs> when I just put them away and just don't think about it. It's one thing, but when, when I'm actually doing them, I I can't help but to think of the finished product. Product. If you remember the last time I inked for Van Plexico was this page, and I'm exactly where I was when I left off. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it was like four episodes right. ago. <laughs> exactly and a lot of a lot of folks would think oh well that's just being lazy but you'd be surprised you know yeah yes, I, gotta be surprised. That. I gotta get back to it yeah well that's that that was my um thing and now i have it really i have the times so there's no real excuse <laughs> yeah that was a good that's a good page thank you i like how shipwreckers look yeah thanks that's always a good thing and the writer likes it. All right, we got a, probably just a just a few minutes left. Uh, if anybody needs this James Bond piece in your collection, hmm. I usually do eleven by seventeen black and white to this scale for seventy five. If you're watching on the live stream right now. Um, or if you're watching the replay, uh, I will I will let this one go for sixty. So if you need this bond piece in your collection, just sixty bucks. Yeah, and that's um, a nice one, especially for that size. You know what I mean? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that that's a good price. I'm going to scan it in. I wish I'd rem if I'd been thinking, I would have brought some of those bond prints that I did with Ken to kind of show you what they'll look like when they're done. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. they're not yeah. even in the house. They're in my building way out back. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. So, just trust me. Um, they're gonna look cool. <laughs> yeah. But hey, yeah, I'll scan this in, and it's gonna get turned into a montage print of everything Dalton. Like I said, I did one for Connery. And my favorite thing that we do on the prints is is we make sure to include something from every movie they were in. So if you look at the Connery print, you'll find something from. Dr. No from Rush with Love, Goldfinger, um, You Only Live Twice, Thunderball, Diamonds Are Forever. All all those movies. You'll find something yeah. on there. And then we did the same thing with Roger Moore and the same thing with Pierce Brosnan. And now Timothy Dalton. That's, That's cool. odd. Where's the ink coming from? Huh. So, but you could own the original. And as usual, I will make the bonus offer like i always do if you buy the original i will give you uh, when the prints are done i'll send you one of those for free nice so that's a little pot sweetener for anybody who might be thinking about it yeah can't go wrong that's right And it's all right if it doesn't move either, because one day cons will be back, and I'll yeah, put it exactly. out at a con, and somebody will snag it up. 
Yeah. GL has a question. He wants to know if this is from legal to kill. License to kill. Um, good question, GL. You would think a bondophile like me would know right off the top of his head. I think it is. It, he seems to have more hair. I don't know. That's tough. Hmm. I'm looking at the model picture that I used off camera. And I'll pull it off the wall and show you guys. There's the model picture. I want to... That's tough. I can't tell if it's Living Daylights or LTK. It's a good question. My gut instinct says license to kill, but I can't can't verify. Yeah, well, I can't help you. See <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other place that I want to firm up some lines? I'm sure I'll find them. All night if I let myself. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. It's like it's no end to it. No, because as much as I like using the brush, it, sometimes it leaves just a little bit. Here we have to neaten up those lines. Yeah, just it does a little bit of fuzziness. It doesn't quite do the sharpest point where I want it to. GL seems to think that that is from License to Hill. Yeah, if I was a betting man, I, I'd, I'd go with GL on that one. <laughs> I'm not as up to speed on the publicity photos and what movie they went with as I should be as a big Bond fan, but I'm sure he'll cut me some slack. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking at the posters. I think I agree. Yeah, he does look just a little older here, too. Yeah, that would make sense since it was the second film that Dalton did. Dalton's my favorite Bond, by the way. Nice. <laughs> GLHC said, I just had a crazy idea. Mark is a rookie agent. You want us to take Mark through every James Bond film? That's what you want? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have time. He's got all this work to do. <laughs> That's funny. Mm, you know what I almost did? We talked about this last time, Mark. I almost, okay. left, my, I almost left my brush just sitting there on that plate. Oh, yeah. I didn't rinse it out. <laughs> always rinse your brushes out, people. And I always do. Oh, or else boy. you're going to come back and find a real stiff, useless oh, real brush. Stiff, yep. Then you need it. And for the amount of money I paid for this brush, the yard sale artist is loath to pay any money for his equipment. <laughs> but I was recommended this brush by a friend in the chat, Ronald Went, And uh, he was right. I actually paid... Online price for this one brush. It's a nice one. So it's probably good that I keep it cleaned out. Yeah. The yard sale artist ain't buying another one. Unless somebody gives me a gift certificate. <laughs> I can't believe it. Because they have to course add up after a while, don't they? <laughs> yep. Oops. A smudge that I don't like. There we go. Normally, at the end of the uh, episode, as we've reached here, I would sign the piece at the bottom, but I'm going to scan it first, and then sign it, because I know that Ken Solo has my signature on digital somewhere, so he can kind of move it yep. around, depending on what he wants to do with the montage. Whatever he needs it. Whatever he needs it to be. Well, cool. I'm going to do the wind down. Nice. Thank you guys for being here. As Jared. always. I'm Jared Albert, the art sale artist, and you've been watching me. And I, I don't know if you noticed on the title card this week, Mark, I stopped putting guest Mark Hathaway and put co-host Mark Hathaway. Oh, nice. <laughs> you're not really the guest. You're the co-host. Well, uh, yeah, I like it. 
I'll take it. And, you know, I'm also thinking about, while we're talking here, um, I'm thinking about, uh, you know, putting a call out there. And any other artist that wants to join us, maybe we can bring in a guest exactly. each time, you know, get someone yeah. else in the chat, someone else's style. That would be nice as well. If, if, yeah. And, you know, they can have someone different every week or whatever. Yeah. And, and you know, whatever your, whatever your level is, you know, you don't have to be. No, nah, no. Nah. You don't have to be Mark Hatherly quality. You can be I'm Jared Albert quality. I'm not even good at that <laughs> it, It's all about art, you know. So. Oh, Chola just chimed in to say that this is indeed from the Living Daylights. Ooh. Nice. I'm ready to believe it. Uh, I guess I would have lost my 50-50 bet, but I, I certainly could believe it. I appreciate everybody who showed up and yeah, chatted yeah. with us in the chat. Uh, of course, you've been listening to the Smooth Beats by Joe November. Check out his SoundCloud page at J-O-S-E-F-L-I-N-99. Or I'm certain if you type in Joe November on SoundCloud, you'll find it. You'll so pop up. Check that out. He like I said he just dropped Beats Without Homes Volume Three on Bandcamp, so you can check that out. I did the uh, cover art for that album. On the right hand side, you'll see uh, Mark Hathaway's inking our upcoming comic Shipwrecker. Look for that uh, eventually. <laughs> yeah, That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Someday, yeah, it'll be. It's funny thing though; it'll be here before you know it too. So, yeah, exactly. Thanks no, for checking in. As always, uh, if you need any commissioned artwork from either myself or Mark, uh, hit us up on our social medias or hit us up in the comments, uh, and we're happy to uh, work with you. Yep. I hope everybody has a great evening. We will see you one week from today. Yes. Same and bat time, same bat channel. There you go. And be safe. Be safe. We'll catch everybody later. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh,